Waterfalls and Gorges as part of the Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 Geography course. Right, okay, so the keywords you're going to have to have for this are waterfall, hard rock, okay, which for the named example is windstone, soft rock, which also for the named example is limestone, erosion, which in this case is hydraulic action, abrasion and solution, plunge pool, overhang, unsupported, rockfall, treat and gorge. Okay, and as always, uh, when you get to the end of the video, you can come back to the keywords page and you can set as a kickoff to uh, write your own answer. Right, so here's your first diagram, hard rock, soft rock. Remember for your diagram, always use a pencil, okay, and don't use a ruler, okay, because in real life it wouldn't be straight, okay, so do it freehand. Right, so the key points, waterfalls occur in the upper course of the river, okay, and they have two layers of rock. Hard rock on top and soft rock on bottom. Okay, so that's very obvious from this picture. Okay, from this diagram, we've got the hard rock on the top and the soft rock on the bottom. Okay, here's your second diagram that you're going to be drawing. Okay, always remember to uh, annotate it. Okay, see, I've got the annotations here. Okay, you might want to put some more in just to be sure. Okay, key points for this diagram. The soft rock is eroded away much easier than the hard rock through solution, hydraulic action and abrasion. OK, the sediment is washed away downstream by the river, creating a plunge pool. So this here is the plunge pool. OK, so the water has come down, it's eroded this soft rock. OK, and all the sediment from here has been taken away. So it's just left this plunge pool here. OK, here the water debris and rock is swirled around, allowing the plunge pool to be made bigger. So say if you do have some debris in here, OK, the uh, hydraulic action from the water coming down, the abrasion from the debris hitting the walls, okay, and the solution, because it's a softer rock and say if it's uh, limestone, that's going to be eroded away by solution. And that's going to make it bigger. Okay, here is the uh, third diagram. Okay, so as the plunge pool becomes larger, the overhang becomes less supported. Okay, so this bit here is the overhang. If you look back here, I annotated it here so you can see the overhang. OK, so that's become larger. OK, and then once the overhang is unsupported, OK, rock fall occurs, which is a type of mass movement. OK, so the rock fall is going to occur and that's going to mean that the overhang is falling down. OK, and the hard rock collapses, making the waterfall retreat upstream. OK, so basically what you've got here is what looks like the first diagram again. OK, so it's gone back. It's like a cycle, this. OK, see, so, as I said, it retreats upstream. OK, the cycle begin agains, uh, begins again with the area where the rock, uh, waterfall was becoming the gorge. So this is the gorge here between the valleys where the waterfall was. OK, that becomes what the gorge is. OK, the hard rock which is collapsed will be eroded down and carried downstream in larger particles. So you have it here. It's been eroded. It's going to be taken downstream. Often you'll find larger bits of rock downstream as it's not got the force, the hydraulic action of the uh, waterfall coming down. OK, and so the cycle's going to begin again. So the named example of this is high force on the River Tees, OK, which is in Teesdale, County Durham, with hard rock being windstone, which you can see here, it's the lighter colour, and the soft rock being limestone, which is at the bottom. So that's going to be eroded away by solution okay an important part of this exam is applying the knowledge so they might give you a diagram like this a picture like this and you're going to have to list some points off about it so you can always say that you can see the soft rock the harder rock you can see where the main waterfall is okay this picture is obviously taken at a time of high rainfall as there's another second waterfall occurring here as you can see there's a lot of water coming over the waterfall at the period of time and if you look down here, you can see the larger rock, which will have been the overhang, which has come off. OK, that's that there. OK, so it's a very good uh, diagram to see and to practice annotating.